All right. Um. Okay, go when you're ready. <clears throat> you're the one that goes first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Andre Erickson here, and I'm James Erickson, and welcome back to this untitled thing we're doing. Uh, this is the last time we're gonna have an untitled video here. We've got two names for this type of video that we're gonna have you guys vote on, but we'll discuss that at the end of the video of this video. Correct. But we're gonna go right into current events. We're recording this video before the Switch presentation. So really, I mean, that's the biggest thing that's going on right now and we can't say anything about it. There's nothing new we can give you because we don't even know about it because yeah. well, technically... You, yeah, you know about it right now. You, because you, know, you know more about it than we from the past know about it. Right. Um, we have been streaming on Twitch a lot lately. I think a couple oh, yeah. times, I think a couple times a week. And uh, actually, uh, we were, I was talking about it with a, with a friend of mine who, who actually has been doing Twitch and, and an Xbox website for a very long time. And in fact, I'll just give you the website name. It's, it's uh, I think it's, well, gosh, what is it? We'll leave it in the description. <laughs> but he, he was telling me, and I, I, I think that he's really right on this, it would probably be best for us to just stream on YouTube because that's where all of our audience is. We didn't know much about that. We, we just... For the past year, we've been thinking, okay, we, we want to stream right. eventually on Twitch, because that's where a lot of streams are. Yeah. Um, but because our primary audience is on YouTube, we thought, hey, why don't we just do it on YouTube, and we can get yes. more people to watch. Yeah, and a lot of you guys have asked us to stream on YouTube, so here we are, and I think it'll make it easier for everybody. So, yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. Anyway, on to our... On to the main event for Nintendo games that we think should have sequels. Absolutely. Yeah. Disclaimer, we are gonna talk about video games that we like, so they're probably gonna be games that you don't really care about, and we do really like Mario games, so a lot of them are gonna be Mario games, just warning you. <laughs> I know on these kinds of videos where we list things, people get really salty about our choices because they're our opinions. Anyway, the first one that I wanted to talk about was Luigi's Mansion 3. Because I love Luigi's Mansion, and I think James is too. No, I know Absolutely. James is too. Probably and one it's... of my favorite games for the GameCube, amongst ten other ones. Yeah, and it's <laughs> one of my favorite games, like, top ten favorite games of all time. I'm sure it's in there. There was a sequel, uh, Dark Moon, for the DS, but neither of us have played it. And I, I have good, heard um, good things, but I want a true console version for me to enjoy again because the first one was so awesome and I think that um, the horror genre is something Mario games never ever touch except for in Luigi's Mansion. It's still yeah. a kid's game but it's such a... Even if it's even if it is silly like how Luigi's Mansion is, it's right. still like if you're playing in the middle of the night and there's no sounds around and you're in a dark room so in creepy, Luigi's yeah. Mansion <laughs> and a ghost pops up, it could still, it could still make you jump. Yeah, but I think it's just such a... Um, a distinct kind of uh, game and style. I think there's so much more that the creators or whatever can explore with that because it's such a unique um, Nintendo title and Mario game in itself. There's nothing else like it and I feel like there's so much more they can do with it. I know in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon they expanded it to a few mansions or something like that. I feel like May I really like the mansion um, hub world and how the whole thing was kind of all around there in the first one but maybe they could expand it to a whole kind of maybe creepy haunted neighborhood or something. I don't know if they did that already in Dark Moon, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know, I think just with the updated graphics and everything that would look really cool. Maybe they could incorporate more Mario characters that didn't get a chance to be in the other two, which would be really cool. IDK, maybe possess Mario this time and make him battle Luigi at some point. I'm just making it up on the spot, but I'm, there's, <laughs> there's like a million things they could do that would make me happy. <laughs> All right, number two on our list that I myself has, have uh, put together, and that is Diddy Kong Racing. Um, that game for the Nintendo 64, I loved that game. And it was a lot different than Mario Kart was. The gameplay felt a lot different than Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing were both very good games, very different from each other. I think yeah. the way you raced in Diddy Kong Racing, the way it felt was a lot different. Um, and then the battle modes were completely different from Mario Kart, but the I most love, unique I like thing. I like the battle modes a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, I know, and I, I'm starting to remember just like the the one with the eggs that you have to put the eggs yeah. in the nest. <laughs> but the the most unique thing that I loved about Diddy Kong Racing was the fact that you could pick between a plane and a hovercraft and a car, yeah. and I think that's what made Diddy Kong Racing really awesome, and it it, it felt 
like, I mean, you had a, you had a lot of options. When a, when a game has a lot of options like that, um, you can get creative, and it makes it a lot of fun. In a sequel of this game, something that I, I would personally like to see, and maybe you guys agree, is just a simple, a simple upgrade. Like, keep the gameplay, keep a lot of the same rules and the same things they do, but upgrade the, the game mechanics, like with any console. Obviously upgrade the um, graphics, but like when it comes to the things you do in the gameplay, like just just add add tracks, maybe add characters. Mm -hmm. If there's a possible fourth vehicle, maybe bikes. I don't know if that would really add <laughs> to anything, but um, I'm sure they could think of something. I think when you change too much about a game and its sequel, sometimes that just ruins the game. And I just I want to see Diddy Kong Racing come back. In this new, in a, in a new generation of gaming, with the same idea but just upgraded. That's that's yeah. just what I would like to see because I loved that game and, and having a sequel for that. I think not just myself but a lot of people would would like to see that. Yeah, I agree. That'd be freaking awesome. Uh, the third one is um, a sequel to a game we've talked about probably too much, and you're probably sick of hearing us talk about it. But I just love it that much. And that game is Donkey Kong 64. Yes. And I, they haven't brought the DK crew back as a crew since that game, and I just, I just loved that game, and it was, there was just so much to it. I could blab about all the things I liked about it, but I've already done that before, and I would just love to see them come back together again and do pretty. I would be happy if it was pretty much the same um, layout, I guess, as the first one, where there's a big giant hub world and then like different really cool. Uh, other subworlds or whatever I can't think of the words right now but you know what I'm talking about they were they were very unique they were very unique yeah I didn't mean to say anything bad about them at all I loved them but just to the fact that they could make I don't know they had a lot of good ideas and I feel like they could do more and they had such great music and um ukulele is coming out which is a great homage to like that game and um banjo kazooie those kinds of games so yeah I'm excited for that but I would love to see an updated version of Donkey Kong 64 where um, I would just like to see those characters back again. Yes. Getting into shenanigans again. I really liked all their personalities and bring King K. Rule back and all their friends and just, I don't know. I'm just, I just miss that game. <laughs> yeah. I think I think we just want to see the whole crew back in, a yeah. in just a sequel. Because yeah. that was cool. It was. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number four. Number quattro is uh, Mario Strikers. And yeah. I know what you guys are thinking, Mario Strikers already has a week, okay? We don't need to go any farther than that. Uh, Mario Strikers was another game <laughs> that Andres and I and my sisters grew up playing. Yeah. And it was probably up there with Melee and and uh, Double Dash. I, I mean, I have, like a, I have like a top 10 for GameCube games and they're all like almost on the same level. And uh, Super Mario Strikers was <laughs> so close. <laughs> exactly. And Super Mario Strikers was one of them. We played it all the time. I think the the um, physics and the gameplay was just really good. It was a lot of fun. And then it, it did have a sequel, and that was Super Mario Strikers Charged. And I really liked that game. The only yeah. downfall I had with that one, or the only thing I didn't like about it, was the nunchucks. Any oh, yeah. game that introduced the nunchucks into play it, it for me it, it ruined the game and i liked mario strikers but my like for it was limited because of the nunchucks and so if there were to be a sequel which obviously it would be out on the switch i would it would be awesome to see a mario strikers that included the gameplay or the game style from the first mario strikers and then a separate game style or game mode from the second Mario Strikers, all or in one whole, game. Or a whole new kind of gimmick, I don't know. Or, I mean, or even a third type of gimmick, but yeah. it'd, be, it'd be cool to see both of them in there with updated graphics, yeah. updated mechanics, and uh, More just, characters. Yeah, add characters, <laughs> add sidekicks. I mean, I'm not, I'm not one to have sequels that just have these drastic changes in them. I just want the same thing with added things and better gameplay and graphics, and maybe that's just me. <laughs> So now we are things, moving on to reading viewer things. We didn't ask you guys to do anything last time. I think it's because we've been so focused on trying to pick a title for this series. And um, we've, we're still asking you guys to vote. And we still... Well, here's the thing. We, we, did, we found some that we did kind of like. And we ended up narrowing it down to two. 
and um, we are gonna have you guys vote between these two. So what I'm gonna do is leave a comment in the comments, <laughs> and I'm gonna reply twice, one with the first name, one with the second one, and you guys are just gonna like one of them, the one that you guys want. And if you don't care, then you don't have to like it, or you can just like a random one. But just try to vote for one. And um, those two names are, the first one is the Ericsson Exchange. <laughs> which my good pal Mitch came up with and he probably didn't expect me to use it, but it grew on us, so. <laughs> There's that one, and then the second one is, the second one is Etox. So the Ericsson Exchange and Etox. And obviously the E stands for Ericsson if you couldn't figure that out. I thought it stood for eggplant. It actually does. Yeah, so just I'm gonna leave that in the comments and you know what to do. All right, in this next portion of our video, we're gonna do play of the week. In this video, we see, well, yeah. In this video, we, we, we've received from Psypig that we, we thought was a little chortle-worthy. Chortle-worthy. <laughs> Here it is. What? Why is there a stick poking into my back? And why am I eating my own towel? <laughs> Those are my two questions in life. And that was that. That was Psy Pig's back glitch. Um, but like we've said in many, many, er, like we've said before, um, we're gonna be doing play of the week every time we do these videos, and we would love to get some videos from you guys. A it could game. be a play that you were very proud of, something you did in a game that you were super proud of, or you thought was funny, or something stupid, something crazy <laughs> from any game. It doesn't have to be Super Smash Brothers. Um, or anything Nintendo. It could be Nintendo, it could be not Nintendo. But we would love to see you guys put in your Play of the Week type videos, and we'll show them here. Uh, we'll pick yours if it's super awesomeness. Be sure to send those to ericksongamingthings right. at gmail.com like you see yes. here on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, under, right here? Uh, I don't know, I can't see you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. We can't thank you guys enough for your support. It's been a lot of fun. It hasn't even yes. been a year yet, and we've hit been... twenty thousand subscribers. Yeah, which is really really cool. It might not how, how seem like happen? a lot to many people, but it's definitely an accomplishment for us, and we are very very grateful. Yeah, um, so we're just two silly guys making videos, and it hasn't been a year silly yet. Silly guys. Anyway. Um, be sure to like this video if you liked it. That would make sense. And you can dislike it if you disliked it. That's alright too. But anyway, if you aren't already um, ascribed to Ericsson Gaming, be sure to do so because we do a lot more discussions like this. We're going to be covering a lot of the Nintendo Switch. We've got Smash Bros. and we've got tournaments, contests, playthroughs, and a lot more video game content. So, without further ado, that was the end. Bye. <laughs>